Hey YouTube, Kim Brzezelik here. Um, I was kind of thinking about what my next project might be, and um, I'm looking around at a welder and high-speed steel and brazed uh, I'll come back to that when I remember what it is. Um, just looking at some different um, you know, the high, basically the high-speed steel and the, uh, and the blaze carbide, I think it is. Um, I had my cold roll 1018 chucked up and indicated in. And I've seen a couple of videos recently uh, with the um, high-speed steel. And, man, it's just so versatile. And you can make your own custom tools and forms and that, that's really really attractive to me so just spur of the moment I decided to mount up a couple pieces of high-speed steel so it was either going to be the welder which um, I've really never done before and probably don't have any business hitting the on switch. Um, some high speed steel I purchased as a set pre ground. And at least now I can look at one of these pieces and tell what the, where the cutting edge is, <laughs> as opposed to when I first received it. Um, I did work on the radiuses a little bit on two of them with the uh, easy lap diamond hone and stone and just kind of just kind of worked this radius here and this radius here this is the other cutting tools that I've purchased uh, in the past and I think I probably um, probably wasted my money uh -oh. sorry about that um, picture of that than that um that was probably eight or nine dollars and it probably would have been better spent in my savings fund for a for a mill and the same goes with this but i'll give us another try i'm not even sure if my tool holders will hold these but what i do have here there's an external grooving and a 60 for 60 degree R and I believe this is the one I started with I'll get that mounted up it should be um, It should be all set as far as set at zero and the height. Made a couple passes. So as it stands right now, I have a 40 thousandths of an inch difference between these two surfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and mount you up here. Hopefully this one will be focused as opposed to the last video I shot so this is going to be I guess basically kind of similar to my last two um, cutting tests so I'm going to go ahead and start on auto feed 
ten thousandths of an inch. Well, I think that um, so that's ten thousandths of an inch dialed in. So if I run the shoulder over, we'll be at fifty thousandths. I'm going to use a little bit of oil, and I am going to try to run this shoulder over. So we're going to be cutting at ten thousandths and hitting this shoulder, jumping up to fifty thousandths. So let's see how that goes. This is in low range and it's probably about a quarter, probably about a quarter of the, around the dial, a quarter, so let's call it, let's call it three or four, if I, if it, if I had numbers on here. A little oil and let's get started. Okay, here's auto feed. Walking up to that, I was just sure I was going way too slow. There's 10,000 of an inch. And I'm not going to touch it. We'll see if it can do the 50. There's no oil up on that 50 area. Okay, I'm going to save a little bit of there for measuring. Um, I'm going to try to bring that back. Yeah. So basically we did 50. Now, I want to test that by starting at 50. Let me write that down. So I did, I added 10 to this. So let's try starting at 50, and then we'll put this other tool in and, uh, and see how it's going to behave. So I'm going to bring my tool over. I'm going to... I'm going to back this up quite a bit and then start going the right direction. Make sure I get all the run out gone. And I'm just going to go up here until I start scratching. Okay, you hear that? Okay. So we're going to go with that as my zero. And I'm going to Well, I guess we're just going to try go for it. In my mind, I want to crank the speed up now. And I just, I just can't get it out of my head that, you know, a faster rotation is going to be less tool pressure. And maybe that is true. But, well, oh, that just doesn't look possible. But I've been fooled before. 
So let's go ahead and crank her up and see if we can do 50 thousandths of an inch on auto feed. And I'm going to turn it up a hair more than I had it before. Okay, that was obviously um, a little more than uh, she wrote. Let's take a look at that chip. So let's bring her back over here and find that zero. I'll tell you what, let's, well, I've already backed it off. So let's relocate that zero. Yeah, I don't like that. That's a little too much. I guess I could turn this on, huh? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put it back. Back to 50 thousandths. And I keep, sorry about that. Then I try feeding this by hand. I'm not going to go quite as fast as I was. Okay, we're at 50,000, sir. Okay, let's try 11. Okay, I'm taking a little bit off there. It's probably a half a thousand. Who knows? Put that on auto feed. Yeah, and that was my zero, wasn't it? So let's try 50. 